Do you find it difficult to say no to your boss without feeling as though you have disappointed him or her? Or you find it difficult to confidently express your discomfort in something when dealing with people, especially manipulators. Well, by the end of this lesson, both your confidence and English vocabulary levels are going to go through the roof because you are going to learn eight clever phrases that's going to help you to confidently express your discomfort when dealing with people. Before we continue, a manipulator is a person who controls or influences others in a clever or unscrupulous way. And we encounter such people at some point. And knowing how to respond effectively makes a huge difference. Now let's dive in. First up, we have the phrase, I understand your perspective, but I see things different. This phrase is powerful because it acknowledges the other person's point of view while asserting your own stance. You're not dismissing their viewpoint, which can make a manipulator defensive, but rather it sends a clear message that while you acknowledge their opinion, you have your own mind and it's equally valid. This phrase comes in handy when the manipulator is trying to make you feel guilty or doubt your judgment. Let's look at some examples. If someone tries to pressure you to do something you don't want to do, you can simply say, I understand your perspective, but I see things differently. I don't think this is the right choice for me. Another example, when a colleague is pushing their idea onto you, respond simply with the phrase, I understand your perspective, but I see things differently. Let's find a solution that works for both of us. This phrase simply helps you to maintain your ground without escalating the situation. Next up, we have the phrase, I am not comfortable with this. Comfortable, not comfortable. Comfortable. Well, this simple but powerful phrase helps to set clear boundary and communicates that you are not okay with a particular situation or request. It's direct and leaves little to no room for argument. It indicates that you are aware of your emotions or your feelings, you respect them, and you're not afraid to express them. For instance, if a friend or your boss asks you to do something unethical, which is quite common in the corporate world. You can simply say, I am not comfortable with this. I'm sorry, but I can't go along with it. It's direct and communicates that you are not ready to compromise on your principles or values. Another example, when someone invades your personal space or your privacy, simply tell them, I'm not comfortable with this. Please stop. Using this phrase, I am uncomfortable with this, can throw off a manipulator who counts on your silence and compliance. Remember, it's always important to prioritize your comfort and well-being, and this phrase can help you do just that. Manipulators often rush you into making decisions on the spot. They count on you feeling pressured, so you won't have to think things through, but you don't have to play by their rules. Simply saying, I need time to think about it, gives you enough time to evaluate the situation without feeling rushed. This phrase is actually a clever way to reclaim your decision-making power. Examples, when someone is trying to sell something to you right there on the spot, but you need time, simply tell the person, I need time to think about it. I'll get back to you soon. Or when a partner pushes you to make a quick decision about something important, respond with the phrase, I need time to think about it. Let's discuss it later. Always remember, taking your time ensures that you make decisions that are right for you. I don't owe you any explanation. It's quite unfortunate that so many people find this phrase very offensive, but in reality, it's not. 
especially when you're dealing with someone you don't really have to explain yourself to this phrase is a tough one to master but crucial especially in cases where someone demands reasons or explanations for your actions or decisions but you feel it's not their place to know let's be real here manipulators are pros at making you feel like you have to justify every move every decision every thought like you're always on trial but using the phrase i don't owe you any explanation asserts your rights to make choices independently let's say a colleague continuously asks you why you took a day off and even tries to condemn you for that you don't have to say much you can simply respond with the phrase i don't owe you any explanation it was a personal matter Sometimes the most powerful and effective word or phrase is the simplest. No. This tiny word is incredibly potent when dealing with manipulators. It sets clear boundaries and signals that you are in control of your decisions. Manipulators often rely on people being too polite and afraid to refuse. But confidently saying no disrupts their control and assets your own. For instance, when someone is trying to pressure you into doing something you're uncomfortable with, simply say, no, I'm not interested. When a colleague asks you to take on additional work which is not your responsibility, you can simply say, no, I can take on more tasks right now. Another example. If a friend continuously borrows money and doesn't repay, you can firmly state, no, I can't lend you any more money. The key to using no effectively is to say it with confidence. You don't have to explain yourself or justify your decision. A simple, firm no is often enough. Remember, it's your right to set boundaries and to protect your well-being. Next, we have the phrase, why do you ask? This phrase is a clever way to turn the tables on a manipulator. It puts them on the spot and forces them to reveal their true intention. Manipulators often ask leading and intrusive questions to gather information they can use against you. By asking, why do you ask? Often puts them in a position to justify their question which can deter them from pursuing their manipulative tactics. Examples. If someone asks a personal question, just respond, why do you ask? If a co-worker inquires about your salary, just ask them, why do you ask? Or if a friend questions your relationship status, a simple, why do you ask? can reveal their motives. This phrase works because it shifts the focus back onto the manipulator. Now, it puts them in the position of having to explain themselves, which makes them quite uncomfortable and helps to reveal their hidden agenda. It's a subtle yet powerful way to protect your boundaries without being confrontational. I deserve respect. This phrase is a strong affirmation that reminds both you and the manipulator of your self-worth. It sets a clear expectation for how you should be treated. Manipulators often target people they perceive as unsure or lacking in confidence and try to diminish their value even more. By stating, I deserve respect, you assert your self-worth and demand that others treat you accordingly. This simple phrase is a powerful way to stand up for yourself. For instance, if someone is speaking to you in a condescending manner, calmly say, I deserve respect and I won't tolerate being spoken to you like that. When a partner or friend tries to belittle you, you can simply say, I deserve respect in this relationship. Or if a colleague undermines your work, just respond with the phrase, I deserve respect for my contributions. This phrase is not just about demanding respect from others. It's also a clear reminder to yourself that you deserve respect. 
It reinforces your self-esteem and sets a clear boundary as to how you should be treated with the dignity you deserve, of course. This conversation is over. I think this is my favorite of all the phrases by far. Let's be real. Sometimes you need to shut down a conversation that is going nowhere or is becoming a bit too toxic and walk away. Manipulators will try to keep you engaged on a defense and in a state of confusion until they are able to twist the conversation in their favor. But you don't have to stick around for that. And walking away isn't a sign of defeat. Rather, it's a sign of strength. It shows that you are not ready to continue engaging in a negative or manipulative dialogue. Example, if someone keeps badgering you about a decision you've made, simply say, this conversation is over, I've made my decision. Or when an argument becomes too heated and unproductive, just declare, this conversation is over, let's talk when we can be more constructive. Ending a conversation can be necessary to protect your peace of mind. And always remember, choosing to walk away is not just your right, it's your power. Eight clever phrases to put a manipulator back in their place. What phrase do you think you use the most? Let me know down in the comment. Remember, it's always important to stand up for yourself and set boundaries. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up comment share subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update thank you so much for watching happy learning bye, -bye.